everybody. It's the Teddy Rose Show. I'm Theodore. Thank you so much for tuning in. It means a lot to me. In this video, I'm going to go over installing the Auto Solutions Short Shift Kit for my BMW E83 X3, aka Becky. This is the Auto Solution Short Shift Kit for the BMW E83 X3, shift console and rubber seal not included. I'm going to do my best to try and illustrate how much throw is reduced before I put this in. During the time of me doing this video, I was also installing a 3 liter engine, doing a clutch, a differential, exhaust system, putting an OBD1 intake and also waiting for the ECU. So that's why I'm not driving the car and you're just watching this footage as I'm sitting still. Tightening up all the linkage is crucial. I don't want to grind any synchronizers. But as far as short throw shift preference, like how long the shift handle is and how short the throw is, that's kind of a Goldilocks scenario where you're trying to find something just right based on what you want. So it's real helpful that Ron over at Auto Solutions is willing to even take on this project. The 83 X3 is kind of a weird shift mechanism with some bends. BMW is not really known for their cup holder design and manual transmissions are dying out. A little bit more room between 2nd, 4th, 6th in this cup holder would be nice. When I go into reverse, it tends to pinch on the outer side of the shift console. The shift boot gets, you know, it rubs a bit. So overall, I'm really looking forward to improving my driver engagement. I'm one of those guys that likes shifting. I'm looking forward to this. Time to pull everything apart and get that Auto Solutions short shift kit in there. Those shift knobs can seriously feel like they're locked in there with that press fit. Try not to hit yourself in the face when you're pulling that thing off, but once you get the shift knob off and the shift boot, it'll pop out real easy. It's got a plastic frame, so use a little bit of finesse when you're doing that. Get that foam insulation piece out of there. And then this rubber seal that's between the body and the shifter, just, you know, it's pretty easy to get that free. And once that's done, it's time to get underneath the car. The next step is to remove the exhaust system and heat shield. After I've got that out of the way, remove the 8mm bolts from the cross member that supports the transfer case and transmission. I want to have a stand ready though to support all that weight of the transmission and transfer case. The idea is that once the transfer case and transmission have, are sort of drooped and hanging away from the body, that should give you enough room to be able to get your hands in there and get the short shift kit in. bushing that supports the shift bracket to the body just requires a skinny little flathead screwdriver to pop that free. It's really not a big deal. After that, I get the bushings released from the front part of the bracket that's on the transmission. So that way I can get some room and there's a clip that's around the uh, shift knuckle. This shift knuckle is the main shift rail and you've got to be able to remove the clip to be able to slide the pin that supports that knuckle into the shift rail. It's a little tricky and I'm going to put some pictures in here to show what I'm talking about. Auto Solutions makes a really nice removal tool that will unlock that plastic cup that fastens the shifter to the support arm. I don't have one, I've kind of lost all mine, but a couple of flatheads and I'll just be real careful not to gouge any of the surfaces and I can get it free.
look out for each other. It's okay to be nice. This message brought to you by Show Me Zero. I use a little bit of Dawn soap to free up the seal. It can get stuck on the shifter pretty easily, and I don't want to rip it. I want to get it off there nice and reuse this. These stock bushings, they're not bad, but they're also not good either. Now Ron sent me these nice urethane low rebound bushings that also have a bronze sleeve to give them some extra rigidity. It's important to minimize any clearance or excessive play in the shift linkage or shift console. It's like that whole weakest link in the chain scenario. The Auto Solutions Short Shift Kit is set at OEM height. It uses a Teflon lined spherical bearing with an oversized ball rated at 2,500 pounds. The upper shift lever is 6061 T6 aluminum. It has an overdimensioned inner lever that is more rigid and thicker and better than the OEM shifter. On the inside of that, it uses a combination of rubber and silicone as its insulator. The factory selector rod is like a tube with sort of smashed ends. The Auto Solutions is a bimetal material, quite a bit harder, and it also uses a carbon steel coupler. All of this footage is shot with my iPhone. I do need to invest in some GoPros so I can get some better shots and better angles. You can actually see what my hands are doing here. Note to self, GoPros. I was always taught to use anti-seize on pivot points and shift linkage. I'm sure Ron wouldn't object to this. That's what that gray metallic crap is on my fingertips. This is such a thing trying to do this one-handed. I had to put the phone down in order to get this done. But basically the insulation process is reversed from how you pulled it out. It's not that hard. The clips that go through those urethane bushings that I showed you earlier, that fasten the shift console to the transmission. Those can be a little tricky if you're not familiar with what you're looking for, but that little groove right there is where it's supposed to lock into place. Don't forget that. Try not to make the same mistake I did when I was fastening the spherical bearing to the shift console. I lost one of those little Allens. As you can tell, I'm supposed to have six. I've got five. I did use some blue Loctite on these Allens just to make sure that they don't rattle out and go anywhere. I want to make sure everything is nice and tight and secure. Everything feels really nice and tight. I like that. Oh, it feels good. I like that.
it just feels so much better as far as its positioning. Ah, it's awesome. It feels great. Thank you, Ron. Thank you so much. Um, the, the cup, that was my main thing. So that way people can see like how close your hand is to the cup. And we've got some room here. It's not as far back. Anyways, all right, get with it. Let's cut to the point. Roughly 5,000 miles later, driving through Missouri summer, fall, and winter, I'm loving the short shift kit from Auto Solutions. It's not too short of a throw, which is perfect. It's, the handle length is great. I mean, overall, it's just right. I've got no complaints. My gear engagement feels nice and solid. There's no question of what gear I'm going into. And I've got room for my coffee. gotta say massive thanks and so much appreciation to Ron Eric Tenji over at Auto Solutions for making this short shift kit. The stock shifter and linkage it just lends itself to just some lazy shifting and I'm so thankful to have this short shift kit in my X3. It's one of those nice little icings on the top. It just helps complete the rest of the project after I've been putting so much work into this. It helps with that driver engagement. I, I kid you not, I'm one of those weird guys that loves shifting. And I gotta thank my father for that as well, for teaching me how to drive a manual at such a young, early age. Thanks, Dad. It's more cowbell. It's <laughs> more